I'm not gonna lie, Gojo is cooked. I know in my last video I said he's gonna reverse jump these guys, but I ain't feeling so confident anymore. If they give a character a whole memorial video or pre-death flashback, just know it's over. Finito, kaput. I think this really might be the end for the homie Gojo. I just know Toji is laughing his ass off in hell right now. The episode starts off with Gojo hitting this light skin ass Jojo's pose. Gojo wasted no time and gets straight to trash talking Hanami by calling bro a literal weed and then proclaiming that he's gonna kill him first. Gojo proceeds to walk over to Hanami and Jogo and he just stands in between both of them like they're just some little boys to him. Look at the way he's standing there bro, this is disrespectful. You a little boy to me, I'll kiss you on your forehead, you a little boy. Sit down. Jogo swings, but Gojo elegantly flips this man into his standing armbar, giving Jogo that shanks deluxe. Hanami tries to sneak Gojo, but Gojo kicks bro in the gut and then throws Jogo's Mike Wazowski looking ass at Mach 10 speed. Jogo been getting cooked by Gojo, but I need you guys to realize that Gojo just kicked Hanami, who's the same Hanami Yuji and Todo took nearly two episodes to beat. Hanami starts thinking she's the thinker, but doesn't realize that she fell for Gojo's bait by activating her curse technique. Bro, look at the way Gojo turned his head. This entire episode felt like a horror movie, but I really like the vibe. Gojo pulls up on Hanami and pulls out her, her hair? Her eyes? Seriously though, what even is that? On a side note, Jogo been glazing Gojo this entire episode bro, I swear to god, he's really been doing tricks on it, like that one dude in his Chief Keef intro. Gojo ain't about this, Gojo ain't about that. Choso tries to snipe Gojo and let's be for real for a second, Choso really put in zero rip during this entire altercation. His stat line is looking like Tony Schnell, he barely even trying, he just dare cause Geto told him to be. Gojo looks at Hanuman and calls her a literal asparagus, like damn, why you keep violating her like that? Next he proceeds to do some of the rawest, most violent shit I have ever seen in anime history. He expands his limitless technique while smiling like he's the joker, crushing Hanami with so much pressure till she pops. Gojo left Hanami looking like a Picasso painting, not a follicle of hair was left standing. After he just committed aggravated murder, he turns to Jogo and just says, next. Gojo is just too cold man. In the next scene we get to see Kenjaku's true master plan. Turns out the whole time he wasn't even planning on fighting Gojo. He was just gonna seal bro in a box. He was really just planning to put bro in time out. Gojo was so overpowered. Gege didn't even know how to deal with him. So he just got Kenjaku to put him in the naughty corner until further notice. Can we take a moment to appreciate Kenjaku's fit though? He got on the Gucci black leather shoes with the cream Dior turtleneck. Okay okay I see you I see you. The next scene is the perfect example of what I mean by Jujutsu Kaisen having this crazy horror vibe to it. This eerie background music starts playing and Gojo just walks towards Jogo like he's Michael Myers or something. By the way, let me remind you, regular people can only see Gojo and not the cursed spirits. That means if they, <laughs> that means all they're seeing is Gojo fighting literally nobody. They definitely think bro is schizophrenic or something. Jogo starts screaming at Choso to help him, but Choso really not doing anything at all. Help me! Me, nigga, help me. Gojo analyzes the situation and realizes he can easily beat these guys if he sacrifices all the human beings. But he doesn't want to do that because it goes against his moral compass. Which is fair, I guess. Me personally, I'm getting the job done by any means necessary bro. It's a small price to pay for salvation. But Kenjaku Yagami already predicted this and sent Mahito with 1000 transfigured human to make it even harder for Gojo. At this point, you gotta respect Gojo. He's fighting 5 Hall of Fame menace to society villains and 1000 transfigured humans while still holding back because remember Gojo is really only firing at like 30% power here and using his domain expansion no hollow purple no red or blue Kenjaku really got Gojo cornered on some mate and one type energy Mahito pulls up to the scene and starts analyzing the situation one two hey Jogo where's Hanumi I thought there was three of you guys Hanumi got packed you dead ass? At this point in the fight, I genuinely thought Gojo started tweaking. When Gojo made a conscious decision to protect the innocent civilians over killing the cursed spirits, Kenjaku officially called checkmate. Gojo used his domain expansion for one tenth of a second and uses that short amount of time to kill all 1000 of the transfigured humans. Bro's really out here running around like a devil man crybaby character. With this move, he saved the lives of the remaining humans while sacrificing himself in the process. If you have any doubt about Gojo's character, it's clear that he's a true hero. In my 
my opinion. Unwilling to, you know, bend his morals for the sake of the mission. After this impressive display by Gojo, he was extremely tired. This is how I'd be breathing after playing like a 90 minute football game. But with the slight lack of focus, Kenjaku activated his trap card like he's in Yu-Gi-Oh. Geto aka Kenjaku pulls up on Gojo, putting Gojo into an instant flashback of him and his homie. He quickly realizes a fake and then that's when Kenjaku reveals himself. The cursed spirit Kenjaku took over Geto's body um, after the hidden infantry arc because we learned that Shoko didn't dispose of Geto's body. This is one of the greatest new gen anime reveals in my opinion and completely shakes up the entire story of JJK. Like if this guy can only pass from one body to another, how long has bro been alive? Like and who was his original body? Like I've got so many questions. The JJK lore just got 10 times more interesting. Reporting to all ground troops. I repeat. Reporting to all ground troops, Satoru D. Gojo has been packed. I repeat, Satoru D. Gojo has been packed. A cool thing I noticed on my second watch through is while Kenjaku and Gojo are talking, Mahito is still trying to wake up. This just goes to show how overpowered Gojo's domain really is. If 0.2 seconds did this much damage, imagine if bro pulled their Thanos and said fuck them kids, he could have easily ended the Shibuya arc early. The mind games Kenjaku was playing were on another level. He might really be up there with Johan and Light Yagami. Shibuya are gonna be real interesting now that Gojo is stuck in jail. Like I feel like it's gonna be a lot more fair for both parties to fight now because you know the source we still got Yuta and you know Itadori and Megami and then the curses still got you know Mahito and all the other curses so it's gonna be like a lot more fair of a lineup but yeah that's the end of the video I just want to say I appreciate all of you that watch my videos whenever I come home from work or university and I see someone like left a positive comment or a message it just makes me feel happy inside man it makes me like you know want to keep going even though YouTube really is hoeing me right now I'm gonna keep it going with a consistent upload so please drop a like and subscribe and if you enjoyed this video check out this one peace